Hey folks, I want to share a recent Twitter thread with you. Let me share my screen. And so this is a post from Ken Field, who I follow and whose work I enjoy enormously. Uh, he posted um, a notice about this video from the Map Men, where they discuss how Jon Snow using maps determined that it was in fact tainted water, not tainted air, that was the cause of the cholera outbreak in London in 1854. Ken notes that the makers of this YouTube video took some artistic license. And just what was that artistic license? Well, R.J. Andrews pipes in. It's annoying how everyone perpetuates the wrong sequence of events with the story. And the green checkbox has the right sequence of events. And the X is the way we've all thought about this, that there was an outbreak, Jon Snow gathers the data, he visualizes on a map that leads to a theory of what is the cause of the problem that eventually leads to the removal of the broad street pump handle, saving myriad lives. We want to believe this because we want data visualization, as we know and love it to be, you know, part of the heroics. But in fact, that was not the case with the sequence of events that actually transpired. So I ended up amplifying this and then my chart chat and um, big book of dashboards colleague, Andy Cotgreave chimed in. You know that one about Farr, he's talking about William Farr, a physician and statistician in mid 19th century, who was a collaborator with Florence Nightingale. Uh, founder of modern nursing, but also a polymath and, and way in statistics and charts. You know that one about Farr telling Nightingale that statistics should be dry, the drier the better? Turns out it was Nightingale who said it to Farr. All right, let me stop sharing my screen for a moment. So Andy, you are a world-class presenter and I've learned a ton from working with you and watching you, but if you're gonna deliver a bombshell like that, you really need to deliver it. Uh, something more like, it wasn't Farr that said it to Nightingale, it was Nightingale who said it to Farr. Well, you, you get the idea. Um, you need to have the right balance of content and charisma. And in this case, diminished seventh chords. Um, by the way, Andy notes that it was Tim Hartford in his most recent book who did the real sleuthing on this and research and came up with this conclusion, which is really upsetting to me. Next thing is someone's gonna tell me that Abner Doubleday didn't invent baseball in 1839 in Cooperstown. Please don't do that. Andy, I will see you tomorrow.